Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how to change your country for the different VPNs you might be using. I'm going to be using a couple of my favorites today to show you guys. I have ExpressVPN over here on the left and CyberGhost over here on the right. I'll put links to both of these in the description, including any of the best deals or discounts uh, going on right now. Again, I'll put all that below for you. So when you first load your VPN, so for example, if I close down Express and I just load it back up here, this is what you'll see. To change your country, there's a couple different ways. Um, first, right now I have France as my selected location. So if I click this, it will select France. Uh, my smart location is Seattle. So if I want to be connected to the United States, I can go ahead and cl click this. Also, ExpressVPN has a recent location tab here, which is in the UK. But if I don't want either of these countries, I can click these little dots here, and this will open up another panel here I can go and start selecting whatever country I want. Now this is recommended. I can also click on all. And now I can break it down. Let's say I want to con connect to somewhere specifically in Europe, like let's say Germany. I'm going to click the down arrow. And now I can connect to, you know, Nuremberg. And so now you can see the desired location or selected location is Nuremberg in Germany. Uh, and I can, again, whatever I'd like, just click it and it will show up here and so this is generally the process for most VPNs have some sort of interface similar to this so let's take a look at CyberGhost so CyberGhost similarly here um, when it's minimized to just the opening interface uh, you can see right now I have the uh, US Netflix as the uh, location I would connect to if I click connect but if I want something different I could cl click these little down these arrows here and it, I can choose certainly just to connect to a best location. I have some favorites. So if I have a different country that's already listed in my favorites, that can come up here for me to quickly connect to. Um, I can also add a new favorite. But otherwise, I'm going to just click that little arrow there. And now if I want to look at all the different servers, I have access to them here. And you can see they're listed alphabetically. And so I can just scroll till I find something I like. So just like uh, with Express, I wanted to connect to Germany. Now I can connect to Germany here with CyberGhost. Or if I want to go down to Switzerland, uh, like I found with Express, I'll just scroll down till I get to the S's and there's Switzerland or Sweden or Sri Lanka or Spain. And so you can see how easy it is to just whatever server you want to connect to. And then you go ahead and click the Connect button. Now, the other thing with uh, CyberGhost that's nice here is you can actually select the favorites, which is handy. So let's say Switzerland is one I want to add to my favorites. I just click that. And now, if I go to my favorites here, I'll see Switzerland pop up. And so CyberGhost is great this way. It has a lot of features that make it really great for newbies and beginners. For example, over here on the left, you can see um, here's all servers. But then if I just want servers for downloading or torrenting or uh, file sharing, uh, it comes up with the specific servers that are going to work best for that. Likewise for streaming. Uh, for example, if you want to unblock Netflix or something like that. And so uh, CyberGhost is really set up great that way to make it really easy to find the best server you're looking for. Like I said, it's, it's especially uh, great for uh, beginners and newbies. Um, so again, that's simply how it works. Again, I'll put links to both of these down in the description below. These are both excellent VPNs. Uh, Express is just my favorite if you want the best VPN overall, fastest speeds, fastest performance, and so forth. But if you're someone who wants great value and you don't necessarily need the fastest VPN, but just a fast VPN will do, and you'd still like all the other great features, such as being able to unblock Netflix and um, have a ton of different servers to connect to and so forth, CyberGhost is excellent, and it costs quite a bit less than ExpressVPN. So again, I'll put links to both of these down in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.